Florida, welcome to the swamp. Paradise for every kind of species, reptiles, mammals, birds, amphibians, insects, and arachnids. Those exist on every continent and every climate. Except Antarctica. Florida has the most diversity. Tropical rainforest and temperate regions have the most biological diversity. In the United States. And our diversity is gaining. However, several of our native species, including South Florida's rainbow snake, have gone extinct. No, not another species we can't bring back. The shit's already changed. There's no way to unalter it. If I see an introduced species, it's just part of our new ecosystem. That's inclusion. A term you coined in your feral cat video. If these invasive species outcompete our native creatures, then that's just natural selection. A term coined by Charles Darwin. Who am I to judge the importance of any particular specimen? Since the introduction of the Endangered Species Act, several species have been brought back from near extinction. The American Alligator Florida Panther Black Bear. Those species are large apex predators. Our impact on them, we are far more aware. The South Florida Rainbow Snake went extinct. How did this happen? Possibly a direct result from human progression. These are some of the only known photographs of the South Florida Rainbow Snake. It is confined to one stream northwest of the Okeechobee. Fish Eating Creek. Yes, however, ironically, this snake is known for its diet of eating eels. The specimen hasn't been captured since 1952. I think it's extinct, wouldn't you? Consider this snake is fully aquatic, nocturnal, and pretty secluded. So not likely a result of human progression. I'm thinking we have a misinterpretation. How could this species be extinct? Many closely related species are so prevalent. If this were a Tasmanian tiger, I bet more people would know about it. And realize if they spot it to report it. I have entered the matrix. This is my way of reaching people. Here I see all of my questions and all of my comments. Have you heard of the Clistopica wasp? I have now, and this stinger appears to be longer than the cow killer. However, it's only found in Amazonia. I'm interested in every single comment that I get. I'm not sure if this was a response you would expect. To those who don't know, my name is Alex. Many of my subscribers speak in acronyms. I like turtles. I keep noticing one I'm having a little trouble interpreting. Finally, Alex's kinfolk explained it. Fingers against keyboard expressing. Forget about kind explanations. Fuck accusing, keep exploring. Boom, it's great, freaking amazing, kindly exquisite. Forget acting, kids expose it. One of my subscribers is focused acutely knowing everything. Foresight acquires kindness, empathy, ass ah, scratch senses. Broaden your horizon, stop accepting everything so gullibly. Challenging everything blindly, with no experience in my field clearly. Want to do something? There's extinct species out there, allegedly, that might just need saving. Is he venomous? Actually, I don't know. I don't because think I think he's venomous if he just killed that. No, I think he is. Yeah. It's red on black, I'm pretty sure he is. Red on black, friend of Jack. Black on yellow, kill a fellow. Yeah, that's true. There's some yellow up in that face. I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.